Moin Leute, willkommen zurück zu... <lacht> 3, 2, 1. Moin Leute, willkommen zurück zu Tales of Xilia. Hier ist wieder Magi. Elise ist unzensiert. Dann schauen wir mal. Tipo, please. Stop saying mean things to Leia. But that's on you, Elise. No, I don't want to insult my friends. But at the bottom of your heart, don't you want to? No, you're wrong. Don't say things like that. Bad, Tebow, bad. Hey, take it easy, you two. But Tebow's been saying horrible things. It's all right. I don't mind. Always meddling with us just because you're a few years older. But, but I like it when Leia meddles. Yep, she really does feel that way. Oh, thanks, Elise. Guess I'll keep right on meddling then. Das macht das Ganze ein bisschen kompliziert, ne? Jude, we're such great pals! Hey! Why do you always chomp my face? As a sign of affection! I've never seen Tipo get so close with anyone else before. So that was like a Tipo kiss. It was? My first kiss was stolen by Jude? <gasps> stolen? That should be my line. I can't believe I'm having this conversation with a puppet. Don't be coy, Jude. You have to take responsibility. Oh, Jude. Responsibility? Responsibility for what? Das ist eine gute Frage. Fighting's almost second nature at this point. You really do have a knack for combat. Maybe you should look into a career as a mercenary. I'd teach you everything you need to know. Me? A mercenary? No way! I couldn't bear to see Jude turn out like Alvin! Tipo's right! Yeah, that wouldn't suit Jude at all. Nor would I trust Alvin's guidance on the matter. It's unanimous then. Motion denied. Ouch, that's harsh. When did I become the least influential member of the party? Don't worry, Alvin. The least influential member isn't you. That would be the guy whose opinion is completely ignored even when the topic is focused around him. Uh, well, um, don't let it get you down, kid. Ein guter Vorschlag. Einos gutos Vorschlagos. Logos. Yalas, yalas. Tipo en zugos. Oh, that was good eaten. Tipo. What exactly is it that you absorb from foes? I'm not really sure. It's like their energy or enthusiasm. Is that nutritious? Beats me. But when I'm hungry before I know it, I'm chowing down. You really are a peculiar creature. What does enthusiasm taste like? It depends on the person. For example, yours tastes like strawberries. What? When did you absorb mine? I don't need to absorb it to know. I can just tell. Huh. That does sound appetizing. Wait, what? Nein, Mila, du sollst den Jude nicht auslutschen hier, das machen wir nicht. Äh, äh. Außerdem bist du ja ein Kerl. Zumindest zur Hälfte. Hm. That's quite the line. I guess this king really does listen to his people. The king of Ajul is well known for his charisma. It is said he unified this strife-torn country on the strength of his character alone. A guy like that is sure to help us. Charisma only goes so far. If his government is secretly producing children like Elise, then he must answer for it. Thank you. Sorry, we were getting antsy. No, this is actually perfect timing. Are we good to go with the wyverns? Yes, I got royal approval. And something incredible happened when I requested an audience for Mila. What is it? When I told them your names, they said His Highness was looking forward to meeting you, too. Are you all famous in Rashagal or something? Uh, um, I don't think so. Perhaps word of the tournament has reached His Highness. What a great honor for our clan. Anyway, I need to head back to Shandu to ready the wyverns. Mm hmm. Quite the unexpected welcome. It's not a trap, is it? 
I have a bad feeling about this as well. You do? It beats not getting to meet him at all. <sighs> Keeping secrets from us again? Of course. I have to maintain my mystique for the ladies. <sighs> What does he mean? They say men with secrets are attractive or something. I'm not exactly the right guy to ask. Come on, let's go say hi to his highness. Alvin, <laughs> we really need you to be straight with us. Don't worry. I know you've put your trust in me. Das reicht uns nicht. Considering the size of his country, Gaius's castle is actually pretty modest. I think that's admirable. Ja, das stimmt. Privater Luxus ist immer scheiße. Zumindest so als König. Ja. Der weise Kresnik hat mit seinem Stab eine Chimäre erstochen, die so groß war, dass sie den Himmel über Riese Maxia auslöschte. Als sie herabstürzte, bildete sie den Kontinent Aujul. So zumindest will es unser Schöpfungsmythos. Tatsache. Dem Volksglauben zufolge hatte der Genesis-weise Krasnik sieben Söhne, aus deren Nachkommen die einzelnen Clans von Aujul hervorgingen. Ah. Hier ist ein Legendentag hier, oder was? Das stimmt doch alles nicht. Es gab Bürgerkriege und so Scheiß. Tag für Tag bekommt König Gaius Anfragen von seinen Untertanen und muss sich ihre Sorgen anhören. Er regiert mit derselben Leidenschaft, mit der er auch kämpft. Hui! Halt! Citizens seeking an audience with the king are to wait in line outside the castle. We were told the king wished an audience with us. Is one of you Lady Ila? That's me. Very well. Please proceed. I don't know what the optical difference between them is and... Den Leuten, die wir gerade verprügelt haben. What's the hold up? I don't believe a doll is appropriate at a royal audience. I thought we might leave it here. You sure? It's okay. I'll hold that for you. Now, let us meet this king. Hm. Da werden pro Sekunde 5000 neue Fragen aufgeworfen. What are you doing here? I am Zhao the Immovable of the Chimeriad. The Chimeriad? Four warriors in personal service to the king. To think Zhao was a member all along. <laughs> oh my god. It is a great honor to meet you, former Chief of Staff Ilbert. Ah, and you are the Ebon Wing of Ajul, Wingle the Nova. You must be the King of Ajul. My name is Gaius, King of Ajul. Welcome, Maxwell. You have requested an audience with the King, have you not? Now please, state your business. Boosters made in your country have already fallen into Rashigal hands. If a war were to break out between your nations, then the results would be catastrophic for everyone. Oh. And you came all the way here just to tell me that in person? Uh... Yes, Your Highness. We're planning to destroy one of Rashigal's weapons, a really big one at that. Once that thing's gone, we know that Rashigal's king wouldn't dare declare war on you. In fact, we hope that you might, you know, help us. Is there anything else? Yes, there is one other matter we'd like to discuss. 
It is in regards to the booster laboratory within the Royal Hunting Grounds. Is it true you once abducted orphans for this facility, and then you performed experiments on these children? <laughs> well, I didn't see that one coming. What does any of this have to do with you, spirit? I am Maxwell. It is my duty to protect both humans and spirits alike. Really? Spirits protecting humans? Now that is quite an interesting tale. You forsook your duty as king, and then you toyed with the lives of your own people, didn't you? The laboratory is entirely my responsibility. It was a haven for those children. They would have died without it. You imagine it as a mad scientist's lab, but I assure you the experiments were entirely humane. You expect us to take your word for this? But I... I was... This girl, she was that test subject? Yes, she was. Even in Hamil, Elise was forced to live in a tiny room. Don't you consider that... Cruel? Well, uh... Yes. Tell me something, boy. Have you ever considered what it takes to achieve happiness? To achieve happiness? Yes, to try and live a satisfying life. How do you think one can achieve that? Do you even know? Well... It takes freedom to make your own decisions, and to form your own beliefs. Exactly. It takes freedom. <laughs> Well, I disagree. When a man loses his way in life, the ground beneath him starts to slowly crumble until there is nothing left. What do you mean, nothing left? A man who cannot find his way becomes trapped. The more he struggles, the deeper he sinks into uncertainty. Uh. True happiness comes from following a noble path across an entire lifetime without getting lost. My country does not produce failures. It is the king's duty to show his people the proper path. I must keep them from becoming completely trapped. Now, let me tell you in no uncertain terms why I've called you here. Maxwell, I know you stole the key from the laboratory in Rashagal. Now hand it over immediately. No, I won't. The key was not meant for human hands. When faced with the power that can destroy the entire world, no human can control him or herself. It seems as though you haven't heard a thing that I just said, Spirit. Something about royal guidance and noble paths. I've heard it before. You humans never change. I've watched you for 2,000 years. All right. Then why don't you just tell us where the key is? What? Alvin! What are... What are you doing? But you can't... Alvin. Sorry, guys. I'm just doing my job. Alvin, who did Maxwell entrust the key to? The Handmaid Ivor. He's probably sulking back in Neocara as we speak. Al, what are you doing here? Hey, Pressa. Long time no see. Pressa, what is it? Ignore them. Give your report. The Rashigal army has invaded Hamil. 
What did you say? I'm afraid the casualties are high. Those not killed were captured. They were then sent to Rashigal. We also found evidence that the power of a great spirit was used upon the village. A great spirit? But no one has successfully summoned the four great spirits for two decades. Impossible. I would have known if the four great spirits had been released. Could it be? The Lance of Kresnik? Is it possible that Nautical has made a new key? If that's the case, then we're declaring war. Send word to all the clans. I am going to crush anyone who dares to harm my people! Well then, we will no longer have any need for the likes of you. But if His Highness were to have the Spirit Maxwell as his captive, even the unruly clans would be forced to bend their knees. <sighs> Miss Elise. Capture Maxwell. Recover the test subject. <laughs> <laughs> 